What is up everybody, it's Tragic here with something I usually never do. Yep, it's a repack. It's one of these high-end, high-end repacks from eBay. Um, had some eBay bucks burning a hole in uh, my wallet there. <clears throat> and they said I was going to lose them, got to use them up for something. So I was looking around, I couldn't find anything that really grabbed my attention. And uh, uh, I think I was watching... Uh, bad boy mtg one day and he did one of these and i was like you know what it's been a while i did one repack like years ago before i started the channel it was okay i got a beta dark ritual and at the time it was worth like 15 bucks so i was like okay it's kind of kind of neat didn't make my money back on that one wish i had saved it i think i sold it for like 15 bucks right so i'm gonna try this again Let, let's take a look at what this is actually here on ebay uh this is the holiday ham repack um from i don't know this guy's name is ham or whatever i don't know so when i bought this i didn't reach out to the guy and say hey i'm a youtuber i just bought this as some schmuck and that's what i am and so he he's sending this to me like i'm just a regular customer so we're gonna see what i get um you know guaranteed value look i'm gonna show you just real quick the in the novel that this guy wrote out for this um you know, pause and look real close at this fine print. It just goes on and 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 on. Are you kidding me? So anyway, in there somewhere it says that maybe you're going to get a Mox Diamond or something. I don't know. So let's see what I got. And then I will scan up the results here. Let's do it. Um, don't have super high hopes. I kind of figure like this is a lot like walking into the casino and putting 45 bucks on black and 45 bucks on red. And maybe you're going to probably pretty much break even. Um, let's see this <laughs> is already off to a bad start. This is a bad number. It says <laughs> these were sealed. And it's not dated. It's protected, though, but it, that's got a bad number. Oh, my gosh. All right, here we go. Let's see what we get out of this. Uh, I got some wear on this one, so that might be um, a, a good card that's like in not so great condition. Um, luckily, I didn't pay uh, too much out of pocket. I, I had most of this covered with some eBay bucks. So let's see. looks like this one here is upside down. Down, or uh, we got a millstone there. Steel enchantment from Tempest. All right, so let me get the scanner going here. We'll just scan these up here. That's pretty funny. So, all right, Tempest steel enchantment. Gain control of enchanted enchantment. Uh, it should be rare, right? At least so. But being four bucks, that's actually an uncommon. So I think the listing said that you're guaranteed to get like all but one. Is going to be a rare or a mythic. So there's my one uncommon. Let's see if that holds true. Let's see. We got a revised millstone. Not bad. Nice looking art. I'm just going to appreciate this a bit. I haven't seen this card in a while, actually. Uh, with that uh, art, it's pretty cool as a revised card. Ooh, we got a Muldrotha. Let's see here. Oh, it's not that one. Hold on. Yeah, we're just having some fun here, right? So we got revised millstone. 350 there we go and it's got a little tiny nick on it a little light play so got a moldrotha from uh, dominaria uh, i think this sees quite a bit of edh play you got a backdraft from legends that's pretty solid it's eight bucks for moldrotha backdraft does half of the damage rounded down done by one sorcery cast this turn to the caster of the sorcery probably does not see a lot of play so i guess is this a rare there's a lot of rares in legends it's a big set and uh i'm not familiar with all of them so let's see how that goes implements the sacrifice from fallen empires there we go 1493 that says it's an uncommon so we are already uh low on our rares there so implements the sacrifice is a card that i actually have a ton of these already from my uh, hillbilly boxes that i bought a hundred thousand rares um, so, and of course it, you know, prior to the end of last year, this would have been a 75 cent card. Now it's probably like a $5 card. 
Let's see how it goes. What I tell you, 498. There we go. We got a foil impending disaster. So that's a rare foil from uh, Urza's Legacy. So that's pretty solid. Um, whether it's the best rare, which it's not, it's the fact that it's a foil, pretty solid. Even opalescence, that's nice. Let's see. So impending disaster is a buck fifty-seven as a rare as a foil, forty-nine ninety-seven. So there we're we're uh, on our way to breaking even there. Uh, basically says it's almost there. Good condition, good shape. Opalescence is a cool card. I believe this is a reserveless card. And a pox from fifth edition. Opalescence thirty-three ninety-nine. There we go. So and of course this is all like full TCG mid value. I, pretty much the idea behind these repacks is that you would take these kind of higher end cards, um, calculate the value of like what you would sell these as a buy list versus selling them straight up on eBay uh, with fees and shipping and all that stuff and just kind of do the math so it comes out in your favor like the house always wins, right? So this is kind of the stuff that I've toyed around with over the years here for myself to sell. I mean, I, I acquire a ton of cars from my random buys. I come up with some pretty good stuff like this. And I always kind of thinking of like, creative ways to get them out there to where it kind of benefits me and it's still fun and good for the buyer. Um, and this, I, I don't see a problem with this as long as you're really straight up. <laughs> if you're willing to read through that entire scroll of in info there, you should pretty much come up with the truth there. I don't know. Kind of fun. I've done this for my patrons when I have a Patreon before. And I would load up loot boxes full of pretty good stuff. And they all seem pretty happy with what I chose for them. So it's basically a repack. And, uh, you know, it's kind of a cool way to get your your money's worth out of your collection. Let's see. Parks from 5th edition. And a wall of kelp. Yeah, we're... We got, uh, hey, 21 bucks. Not bad. I didn't realize that card was so high. So these are cards that have kind of gone up in value recently, like wall of kelp. Again, another 75 cent card that's now worth like 15 probably. And then the last card in here, a foil, or I'm sorry, foil, gosh, a beta Grizzly Bears. All right, all right, I'm not gonna turn that down. Wall of Kelp, 14.75. And then a beta Grizzly Bears with, uh, not too bad, it's really not too bad. In um, decent, Almost near mint play. Oh, uh, yeah, no, no, it's not inked. Looks good. So I think it's just a common, just a plain old bear. Is that a common or an uncommon? It's a common. Fourteen eighty five. Well, there it is. That's my repack. Full value, one hundred seventy one bucks. If you were to turn around and sell this to like buy list or get what you can get for it, you know, trading and selling. You'd probably come up with about 90 to 100 bucks so um or if you're lucky so pretty much sold for what it would sell for you know approximately so kind of a fun way to do it so um averaged out for the seller i'm sure this makes a lot of sense and as long as they keep their customers relatively happy with what you get sent and you don't get a bunch of um bad feedback then you're you can stay in business doing this kind of stuff so anyway that's what i had for you today hope you guys enjoyed it let me know what you think down below are, are repacks a scam are they an acceptable business model should i try to get into something like this because i have kind of a bunch of this stuff to, that i could do this with but i also really don't have the time to portion this out and make it a whole business but anyway that's it tragic mtg catch you later